Hey guys, it is Mark from Modern Tech, and with the Xbox 360 store recently going down, I decided to put the Xbox 360 emulator on my Steam Deck, and I'm here to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to do my best to get straight to the point with this video and not make it too long because this process should take you about 15 minutes if you depending on your skill level it might be a bit long if you want to just be extra sure uh, but there's not really much that can go wrong and it's quite simple to do so not only are we going to install the emulator but I'm going to show you how to apply patches and I'm going to show you some of the best settings to put Xenia on to get to minimize any graphical issues and at the end of the video I'll just show some raw gameplay of some of the games that I've tried and tested that actually work pretty good so you can kind of see for yourself. As you can see, I'm on the Steam Deck OLED model, but it doesn't matter what model of Steam Deck you've got. It should work all practically the same. There's going to be like only one or two FPS difference, if that. But it probably won't even matter on an emulator. So anyway, let's get stuck into it, and I'll jump on the Steam Deck and show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are at the Steam Deck. First thing you want to do is obviously hold the power button and go straight to desktop mode. With desktop mode loaded, I will say you do need EMU deck for this. I am assuming that most people doing this have got EMU deck, but if you haven't, I do have a proper video on my channel explaining that it's a bit outdated, but the process is still the same. I'll just quickly show you how to do it anyway, just a very fast one. Let's have a look. So you go to your browser, which is Firefox in this case, and you want to go to the search bar and you want to type in EMU deck. See, it's right at the top there. Once you're on EMU deck, you are here, you want to straight up click download. I'll just, I'll just do it quickly. You want SteamOS, we just click on it and then we click download for free. So I'll, I'll just click download for the sake of it. So there you go, I've already got it downloaded anyway. So this is where it downloads to it, should download to your downloads folder. So as you see, you got it there. You basically you click on it double click it you run it as an installation and it's just like a normal generic installation of anything to follow the steps let it do and when it's done it will give you the emu deck when you are going through the installation process it will say things it'll have a list of emulated stuff keep them all checked just tick them all and just click it going through the process and it will just install all the emulators i you know like i said i've got another video on that if you want to check out a bit more in depth but it is as simple as that really so through emu deck we've technically installed the emulator so you can even check if it's there you can go to the search bar and you can type in xena so it's x uh, there it is right at the top xena proton xenia whatever it's called yeah well we've got we've got xenia you can choose whether to install it straight to your SD card or straight to the internals. I would advise doing it to the SD card just because, it's, I don't know, it keeps things a bit cleaner and it saves up your storage space. And that's what I've done. And that way I can just add all my games to the SD card and just make it easier to get it to work. But if you want to add games, I will show you how to add the games to the emulator. So you want to go to your file manager, which is like Dolphin. If you did install it to your SD card like me, it'll be in your removable devices, SD card. You click on it. And then you go to emulation. This is the folder which would have been created from all of the EMU deck stuff. And then you find your ROMs. And then this is all the games, all the emulators that are installed through EMU deck. Uh, most of them do need a few tweaks, but luckily this emulator doesn't actually need much. It only needs a couple of little bits and bobs. And you go to the Xbox 360, which is right down here. And here we have a ROMs folder. So this is where you're going to put your games. So you've got any of your games you've got, which you are going to rip your games legally. You're not going to do anything illegal. You're going to drag your game file into here. So it's the ISO file is what you need. So I've got 50 Cent Blood and Sand, Afro Samurai, etc. They're just all in here and it is fine. Any Xbox Live Arcade games, uh, they are where they're looking file. It's these guys, but you just drag them into the XBLA folder. But a lot of games have individual patches. So if you want to go to your Xbox 360 folder, if you click on patches, these files here, they are all for each individual game. So um, I can't find, I can't remember what games I've got exactly. Uh, but if I click on something here like Gears of War Judgment, for example, Gears of War Judgment Pack, if I've got that game installed, this is where you know the file is. So when I open up that, this is the patch. So what have we got? 
So basically, it says stuff there like patch, unlock FPS. So to apply all these things, you go up to here and then you want to change this. Any values that say false, you want to just click on him. Um, you want to open up your keyboard. And then you want to type in true. Let's have a look. There you go. Now it's lit up. That means that marker is now true. So when I play this game, it would have unlocked FPS rather than being capped to probably 30. And this applies to all the other parts of the patch. You know, there's different things. This one clearly has stuff like 16 times um, filtering. What else we got? The basically settings for the game for each individual game. So do that and then make sure you click save at the top before you close it. So save. Now that is saved. And that's how you apply the patches for your games. All these patches do come default with the emulator, which is installed through EMU Deck. If you don't have a later version of EMU Deck, it might just be worth reinstalling it because it's no issue. Just go through the process again, download it, install it, or just go on to the settings and update them all. I'll show you how to update the emulators in a second. But before that, I want to show you how to change some of the graphical issues. Now, a lot of people have issues on this, which I had him as well. I booted up a couple of games. Uh, one of the games I booted up was 10 Shoe Z, and there was it was unplayable. There was like um, big, massive graphic issues, like lightning going everywhere. But now it is 100% playable through this little hack. So you want to go to the Xenia config file. No, sorry, Xenia Canary config file. That's what you want to click on. And you want to open that up and here this is a bit weird so basically this is the emulator settings rather than having like a physical menu it's all on like a database like this so you just kind of change the values like true and false on the different settings that you want but the one setting we want to have is clear memory page state and that will be on the gpu section so that is the cpu we do not want that uh, where is gpu there you go so gpu clear memory state change that to true and then click save and then yeah that will solve a lot of issues when i booted up uh, nary all the broken bond for example on the menu it had loads of glitches and it had the, there was just weird textures going everywhere but then when i applied that it works perfectly and flawless so there you go obviously you've installed the xenia through emu deck and you've changed you've had applied patches to your roms individually you've added your roms and you've changed the emulator settings. Now, if you want to actually get it to show up in your Steam, I will show you how to do that now. So we want to open up our EMU deck, which you should be quite familiar with now from installing it. If it has any updates, by the way, it will just update it automatically there. Uh, but while we're on this page, actually, I'll show you. So if you wanted to update emulator settings, you can just do it simply from here. There you go, update emulators from the manage emulators page. It's just super simple as that, it does it all for you. Uh, you can see I have got my um, Xenia, that's what we're using. That's what this video is about. But to sort out the artwork for the games, we wanna to go to the left and we wanna click on Steam ROM Manager. And you wanna click yes, this basically says it's gotta close Steam and when it closes Steam, it stops things like, you know certain inputs from steam working i think like open up the steam keyboard and stuff that's a steam thing so that's not going to work but we don't need it for this stage anyway so this is it and then we want to go to add games and we want to click pass i'm not actually sure what pass means but we're clicking it and here you go most of your games most of your emulators will have game box art already uploaded for you and that makes things you know so much easier in my case, a lot of the Xbox 360 games, however, did not have their own specific box art. So what I did, I'd go to Google um, and I type in stuff like, for example, 50 Cent Blood and Sand Xbox 360. And I'll have this game case there and I'd save the image as and then I click here and click upload. And then I would choose the file I saved them at, game artwork, I've saved it on my desktop. And there you go, I choose 50 Cent Blood and Sand sand and then click open and then it adds this image here it just makes it cleaner in the steam menu from when you're flicking through but once you've done all that once you've got all these images you're happy with make sure you click save so at the bottom here it will say save to steam and then done done adding and removing entries so that is it, we've added the game, we've applied the patches, we've added them to steam and it was super simple, super straightforward we want to return to steam 
So here we are, we're back at Steam. As you can see, I've already been playing some recently, but if you wanted to find your games, it's the same as all your other emulators. You go to libraries, collections, if you've got it all enabled. And these are all my different collections. Um, so Xbox 360 Arcade will be in a separate folder. There is so many files here. I'm not too sure why they are there. I'll have to figure that out at some point. But the main game, if you want to play Explosion, you want to click on there. If you want to play Shadow Assault, click there. And it works fine. If I click on Microsoft Xbox 360, here are the main games. And yeah, they all, they all work pretty good. So let's just boot one up just to see. Because I manually added this artwork, I've not added the artwork at the top there. You can change that in the Steam settings, but I'm not doing it now. I'm not going through that in this video. But the main important thing is we've got some nice artwork to make it easy to choose and navigate your games from, and it looks quite good. Fully working. This is an Xbox 360 exclusive game. You can't get it anywhere else. So yeah, it fully works. Right, so there you go. We're done. Please don't jump in my Discord and ask me where to get games from. You have to rip your own games. See, I own the game 10 z there. If you rip your own games, it's the legal way to do it. If you get any games the other way, that is completely on you and it's not down to me in any way at all. So bear that in mind. There you have it, we are done. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, do all that to help me out in the algorithms. It really, really, really does help. And yeah, I hope to see you again in the future. It's Mark from Monotech. Thanks for watching. Leave me alone. Wanna practice your combat skills, Naruto? All right. Now I'm gonna hit another one!